Gentlemen, welcome to episode 13 of the Friggin' Nerds podcast. I am your host. We're teenagers. We're teenagers now. Yeah, this is our first teen episode. This is crazy. Yes. First teen episode. I am your host. Yeah, puberty. It's Teen Nick now, guys. (laughs) (laughs) I am your host, Mario Lima, joined by, of course, the Friggin' Nerds crew uh, from the Rainbow Valley. Here we got the lovely Lee Dumas. From the Rainbow Road. The Rainbow Road. Your favorite track on Mario Kart. It's my least favorite, actually. And all the way from Nashville, Tennessee, we got the lovely couple, Mike and Britt Berkey. Straight out of the theater, y'all. Straight out of the theater. Theater. Oh, speaking We're of going theaters, to the theater. The, 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 fucking, I'm, I'm ready for the theater, guys. I think I'm ready to go. I don't know. I know Black last week. Widow, baby. Yeah, I know last week Coming I was kind of like, I don't know, but I think, I think I'm ready to go to the theater, guys. Ten week or ten day, ten weeks. I'm used to saying weeks. Ten days away. Ten days. We got to get in there before that Delta yeah. variant gets us. <laughs> right? Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Good job. Oh, Maybe those of us with Pfizer are not no longer immune. Apparently, so oh, we oh, no. really get in there. Yeah, I heard that Pfizer is no go against the Delta or one of the variants that's uh, going around. But do any of them cover um, Loki variants? Yes, that's the key um, question. That's the real Rail. question here. Variants of the TVA. I haven't heard yay or nay. Well, I guess rest in peace, Pfizer people. That. <laughs> that's us. That's you. That's, uh, me. that's, that's me. That's all of us. That's, that's, that's us. Uh, yeah. all, all, we're all going to be gone. We're all going to be gone next week. We're all screwed when we go to New York. I guess, <laughs> I, I guess, I guess we, we, we almost made it 20 episodes. Almost. <laughs> Uh, but guys, this is the we frig- the teens. Yes, but the guys, this is the Friggin' Nerds podcast. As you know, we get together every week on this Zoom call on twitch.tv slash Friggin' Nerds Media to bring you guys the nerdy goodness that happens every week and have some fun with y'all. Uh, tonight, we're going to start with what we're always good for, a good old-fashioned debate, I guess. <laughs> it could be a debate. I don't think it's... It might, it might get a little crazy. But we usually, as you guys know, if you follow us on Discord, hang out in our Discord all week, we always have the question of the day. Uh, we always put up a fun question, talk amongst ourselves the whole day, and discuss our answers and why we feel like we're right or wrong. Uh, so we're bringing it to the podcast. We're going to bring us uh, the, the, where is it? The topic this week is what's the best flavor of Pop-Tarts? I'm ready. So <clears throat> this came up recently in my in our Twitter feed and I was trying to figure out like why Mm -hmm. it seems like a very strange poll to pop up in a like a fandom uh Twitter account Mm. and uh the reason why this this popped up is uh evidently uh while we're thinking of our answers I'm buying some time um evidently Jerry Seinfeld is set to star in a Netflix uh show called Unfrosted which is about the creation of the pop tart. It makes so much oh. sense. That that <laughs> is totally Seinfeld. that is a Seinfeld gimmick. No soup for you. No, that is, that <laughs> right? is that is a, like I can just see it like him narrating. It's like, what's the deal with these pop tarts? You just put them in a the toaster. They have cream in them. It's crazy. You know, I can tell. <laughs> this is like that, that's a a Seinfeld gimmick for sure. I'm yeah. excited for it. I have so, two favorites. Oh yeah, let's I only, hear I only let's, have let's one, see. but you, you guys go Matt, first. I have two. Fa- well, I have you know I'll eat any pop tart as long as there's frosting on it. But s'mores and birthday cake are my two favorite. Ones. Oh, I never had birthday cake. I've mm-hmm. never. I didn't even know they had a birthday cake pop tart. I think it was like maybe a limited edition sort of thing, but it was delicious. Huh. Mm. So good. Interesting. Yeah. So the the like secondary question to this, since Lee brought it up. <clears throat> Let's a, let's answer this question as a, as host first. Do okay. you eat your pop tarts with or without frosting? With like the iced ones? Or yeah, not with iced. the yeah. Only with. I prefer them with none. <gasps> yeah, yeah. I was surprised about that. As a kid, I liked them to have that, but now as an adult, it just makes me think of like a stale cookie or something. Hmm. Yeah. I can't eat them hot though. I can only eat them cold. 
Oh, Same. And I'm there's like, the I next like question. Warm. There's so many like questions inside of this question. <laughs> um, do you toast your pop tart? Oh yeah, Brooke just asked that too. <laughs> yes. Now here's here's another no. question that I used to do. I don't know if this was a regional thing. I have no idea. But uh, after you toast it, do you spread butter on the top of it? Is that, uh, is that an option? If it's unfrosted. God, how do you yeah. not have Well, diabetes? if it's unfrosted, maybe. It's unfrosted. <laughs> but like. Put butter. Oh. Warm, so you know, it's warm. I may not be the only on one it. that has a stroke. <laughs> during the- <laughs> <laughs> I haven't I like done this pull, since I was a kid. Uh, I, so I like to Boy, put my movie theater diabetes. butter on top of the popcorn. Mm. Well, me personally, I'm, I'm getting a lot of love in the chat. I'm gonna I'm about to get love in the chat because I saw at least three, two or three people mention it. I'm a brown sugar and cinnamon guy. That's the my favorite. Answer. That's my favorite That's the one. Only answer. Yep. It gives me so, heartburn though. There's not a single other mm-hmm. pop tart that I would put in my mouth. I hate all the rest of them. I feel like really? a lot of them sort mm-hmm. of taste, especially the fruitier ones. All just seem to taste very similar. <laughs> To me, and the so, straw. The, I, I remember the. St- <laughs> the lava, Slytherin, I didn't Slytherin that said, said "Me learning that. Brit was me learning Brit likes unfrosted pop tarts." I didn't realize Brit was a sociopath. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! Oh man! Lord so, have mercy. But yeah, the like, correct answer. The correct answer for those keeping score at home is the brown, the brown <laughs> sugar cinnamon. <laughs> that, <laughs> like that's the only correct answer for favorite. I will um, eat some no, of the other ones. S'mores but are delicious. Have you ever had a s'mores one? I have, but it's. I it's, have. I didn't love it. It's almost a little it's too like sweet. It's like chocolate or syrup and marshmallows with the. Mm. I don't know. This when it comes to a, <laughs> when it comes to a pop tart, I feel like I'm 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 I'm, a, I'm plain Jane, I guess. But I like it simple. I like the cinnamon. And yep. I think you mentioned the notes here on this uh, poll on Twitter. Brown sugar wasn't even on it. It wasn't even mentioned. It was disrespectful. I feel like that's three. the most common one that I hear people. <laughs> Look eat. at this chat. I yeah, don't understand how people like thirty five point four percent of people said frosted strawberry. That is like by far and away the worst flavor other than blueberry in my opinion like yep. well that was the other one on the on the poll it was it was unfrosted strawberry frosted strawberry frosted blueberry other those were the options the uh, strawberry and, is and, like a little too i don't know what's the word not sa- with- like that's sour but like out of this something about the taste is like i love i love central i love strawberry anything but like when it came to the pop tart i just like something about it just didn't taste because I, I i i remember as a kid you know always had the, the cinnamon ones and the time where they didn't have it at the shop and my mom's like oh we got the strawberry ones whatever it's the same thing I'm like no mom it's not the no, same it thing is not mom <laughs> don't like it I no, remember, I remember not Mario's not mom. I remember being a kid, you mm-hmm. know, watching whatever Tom's a Tank Engine mm-hmm. or JJ Jeffkin, whatever <laughs> fuck was on TV then, and <laughs> having this delicious cinnamon pop tart. Sorry, how old were you? I don't know how old I was. I was young. Did you guys ever try the uh, the pop tart minis, the like bite sized like pop tart? I never had those. I think so. I used to yeah, make that's... my own minis by just smashing up my pop tart in my backpack <laughs> by accident. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, it's like, I always chat, ate they it in said, um, The strawberry frosted is the basic bitch of Pop Tart. Oh, man. Preach, sister. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, it's brown yeah. brown sugar cinnamon for me, for sure. Frosted. Frosted brown sugar cinnamon. More. Yeah, I haven't had them in years, but if I'd had a Pop Tart, you know what's really want funny, Pop-Tarts too? Pop Tarts now. The, what's really funny is if you guys have watched Sweet Tooth, uh, Sweet Tooth, uh, Pop Tarts was kind of like a big thing uh, in a yeah, couple it episodes. It was like the holy grail of like, like where did you find Pop Tarts? Yeah, oh my gosh, you have Pop Tarts. The fact that that they last through the apocalypse should be <laughs> concerning to all. Of it's us. well, I mean, it's yeah. kind of like the Twinkies and Wally. Okay, like yep, yep. If it's p- packaged in cellophane, it's pretty given that it's going to survive the apocalypse all right so real quick all four of us let's let's recap what we our answer brown was. sugar cinnamon unfrosted mm, brown sugar uh, cinnamon frosted brown S'mores. sugar cinnamon frosted brother yes s'mores s'mores, <laughs> s'mores. 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 
Yep. But I, a close second is probably the brown sugar cinnamon. But uh, the brown sugar cinnamon gives me wicked heartburn, like more so than the well, other. I'm going to go so. pick some Pop Tarts tomorrow. I'm going to move for a Pop Tart. Right? I need Pop Tarts now. I want to, like, I'm going to Google and right now and see if there's any other fun flavors out there anymore. Yeah, I kind of so, want to try that. If you find a birthday cake shot. one, I want to try it. Yeah, I've never, I didn't know that was a thing. I know it was birthday it was cake when Oreos. I was a kid. But... It 100% um, was when I was a kid. Just like they the had a cake ice one? cream sundae one. Hmm. What? Yeah. Pop tart? Yeah. Ice cream sundae pop tart? Oh, yeah. Oh, that, that's look this up. pop cart. Pop tart. <laughs> All right, guys. So go make sure you're you're going to keep a lookout for that Jerry Seinfeld Netflix show oh, we called about Unfrosted. The What's the deal with Unfrosted? It's crazy. What's the deal with everybody like an unfrosted <laughs> pop tart? Pop fudge sundae. They have it. them at our local. Um, Mrs. Doubtfire. Is that what I just did? <laughs> yeah. Is that what that Hello. was? <laughs> Guys, oh, right. look at look at confetti cupcake. They have them at our local stop and shop. Oh, there you oh, go. There you go. I'll bring. I'll buy some and I'll uh, bring them with us. Let's, to, let's, let's, let's to move New on York. before we get get the munchies here. <laughs> yep. So let's let's jump into the nerdy news. Each week we scour the headlines in the nerdy world to bring you the best of the best of the best, sir. With honors. Did you get the reference? Best of the best of the best, sir. Yep, that's Men in Black. Men in Black reference, baby. Um, and so we've got several headlines to bring you this week, but of course, we can't go too much time without Marvel news. And we've got three, three Marvel, three Marvel headlines for you this week after going without Marvel last week. Yeah, we had nothing last the week. Biggest, yeah, we're making up. We're making up this time. The biggest news headline is the new Shang Chi trailer was released. It was a beaut, Clark. It was. A beaut. So the movie is going to come out in theaters, not on Disney Plus, in theaters on September 3rd of this year. Um, and the plot of this movie overall is Shang Chi is drawn. Uh, when Shang Chi is drawn into the Ten Rings organization, he is forced to confront the past that he thought he left behind. So for those that aren't familiar with Shang Chi, that would be this camera over here up until a couple weeks ago when they started talking about this movie. Um, he is a master of martial arts, really good fighter. He was brought up by his dad, who is going to be the Mandarin, who is the real Mandarin, not the one that was in the Iron Man 3 movie. Uh, the real Mandarin, big bad guy in the Marvel comics. Uh, he leads the Ten Rings, which is a big, you know, organization of evil in the comics, which is interesting. He's the son of the Mandarin. And he tries to escape. He's got a little bit of daddy issues. Yep, he does. And he tries to escape his uh, his fate of kind of taking up the mantle of the leader of the Ten Rings. He doesn't want it, um, but he is found by his father's people and brought back to him. Uh, it looks like a very interesting plot. It does. The uh, cinematography in it, in the trailer so far, y'all, it it's outstanding like the it looks beautiful the effects in it uh, are super cool they they kind of uh, in this newest trailer just released a couple days ago they kind of showed off how the 10 rings are going to be used and we got instead of them being rings yeah. like in the comics because they wanted to differentiate from thanos's uh you infinity, know, stones. infinity stones we're getting bangles get some fun bangles y'all but what's really cool about it is the bangle when it when it gets used, the bangles like fly off of their arm, and it like makes a weapon and like shoots energy beams out. Oh man, it looks it looks it looks dope. It does. It looks great. That animation is amazing. Um, but a couple key points here that I'm I'm gonna bring up. Firstly, keep in mind this is only the fourth hero to debut in their own MCU movie without being teased by a previous project. Interesting. Like out of all, we have like over 20 MCU movies and this is only the fourth time that there's been a debut of a hero in its own in his own movie. Which makes me think he's gonna be important. Yes, uh, I think so. So like the new, the new phase. And uh, at the end of this trailer, kind of a big reveal, the last like five seconds of the trailer, Mario sent it to me, he was like, dude, check the end of this out. Um, the end of this trailer like revealed. Oh yeah, dude, brother. <laughs> dude, check brother. this out, brother. Check this out, um, brother. At the end of the trailer, we see Abomination 
who was last seen in Edward Norton's version of the Hulk. Like the the Hulk no one talks about. Yeah, back in like 2009, um, fighting Wong. The Hulk Wong, named. Uh, fighting Wong, who was one of the sorcerers in Doctor Strange. We didn't know who Wong is. I didn't need to say who that was. We know Wong. So he's fighting Wong, <laughs> Abomination, who we haven't seen forever, is fighting Wong. Wong. He so, does know Wong. Kamrakaz. He does know Wong. <laughs> So how do we feel like this movie is going to impact the MCU? There's a lot of things that's like, what is happening in this? There's dragons. Oh, there's like a the really sick shot of a dragon yep. in this too, you guys. Um, I don't know. I mean, we have another we have another magic user, um, but this is going to be again another type of magic. Mm -hmm. um, and it looks like because he was also trained by his mom, he uh, pulls from like the elements of the earth. So I don't know. It's cool. I'm always down for another magic user. I'm not like a huge martial arts. You used to watch like Bruce Lee movies, though. Know, you can appreciate my, it. My though, dad, right? I can appreciate it, yeah. but it's not my favorite. <clears throat> but um, yeah, we'll see. Like, do we I mean, feel like. So the, the, there's kind of a big reveal that the, like Abomination's kind of cool. Like it's it may be just a quick cameo. I don't know. Maybe he become maybe he ties into the She-Hulk universe that's coming. But yeah, um, Abomination has been confirmed that he's he gonna, will be in She-Hulk. Right. But well. the the kind of the bigger like thing that has been tied into this movie now is that Wong is there. What is Wong doing in Fight Club? Like, what do we think this means? Like, Doctor Strange's, like... Bing, bang, boom. Jo Doctor Strange's, like, universe is slowly just intertwining with everybody. If Wong is now in Shang-Chi, how well, does that affect we've things? asked, like, who will be leading the Avengers now that Tony's gone? And I think one of our top contenders is Doctor Strange. Strange. So it would make sense because before uh, Tony was the one to kind of like show up scattered through everybody's movies. Mm. So it would make sense to me now if Doctor Strange is the leader that we start seeing him. He's got kind of his hands in everything. Interesting. And we have so much magic coming into um, this new phase. And who better to deal with that than the Sorcerer Supreme? That's right. That's right. Well, out of all of the MCU movies coming out, like this one has slowly been moving up my list of most exciting. Um, I definitely Spider-Man is still up there at the top, but this is this is right behind. Don't this forget is, the Eternals. Oh man, the Eternals oh, is incredible. <clears throat> that one's the one I'm the most looking forward to. Well, speaking of Doctor Strange, uh, <laughs> there's been a lot of conversation about this man this week uh, because evidently there was an edit to the WandaVision end credit scene. Yes. So if you go back and you watch the WandaVision series again, there was a small tweak that Disney Plus uploaded this week to the end credit scene where she's in the, in the hut out in the, in the wilderness. Um, and so it's kind of strange. Like it, it, it looks like they're trying to add in several additional trees in the area around the hut. So we've got some pictures that should be popping up um, that show like before and after one version of the hut, the one that was out, like when it first premiered is like super barren. And then this newer version is like, they just added a bunch of trees in there. There are ducks removed that were in a, in the pond right out front. Um, but the biggest thing, and this is where Dr. Strange comes in is that there was this like, floating object that if you go back and watch it now you'll kind of creepy looking. it's kind of creepy there's just like floating object in the top like left hand corner of the screen that just kind of like follows the track of the of the motion of the camera as it nears the cabin and like everybody was like oh it's dr strange like there's dr strange he's in wandavision now they edited him in he's coming in in his spectral form uh what do we think about this do you want to know what I think about it? Yeah. Okay. One, I don't think that that figure is Dr. Strange, but I do believe Dr. Strange was already in this and is and continues to be. I think that one shot, like our perspective that we're seeing, like going through the woods and into the house, I think that is Dr. Strange. 
Um, That's and, from, from like his, it's like his point of view. Right. Either, uh, either like, well, I don't think it's probably him physically, but it may be his um, Astral spectral form. form. Yeah. yeah. Uh, because at the end of that scene, she like looks up and I think she's looking up at Dr. Strange and you also hear his theme music start to sort of like uh, play mm. over top of the, the music that's already happening. Um, so I think Dr. Strange has already been there. I don't think that the thing I would love, uh, nobody loves like a good crazy reach theory more than me, but I don't think that that's anything. I think what makes the most sense is that because of COVID, they had to really rush um, filming and post-production. And I think that um, the scene that we see in the post-credits will also be in the new Doctor Strange movie. Mm -hmm. um, I think it, that we're going to see like Doctor Strange coming in and that interaction. And I think the one that we saw in WandaVision had to be filmed in the winter. And so the trees were really bare. It didn't look very like secluded. And I think when they went to go reef uh, or when they went to film for Doctor Strange, I think that they reshot it. And they're like, oh, uh, there's trees that because are blooming it was, now. Yeah, it was yeah. in a different part of the year. Everything was like bloomed out. And so in order to make those match, I think that that was all that it was. I think usually the simplest explanation is the... <laughs> Is, the, is the right one yep and um that little thing that comes down is and it's like a a mask that they used when editing, In video and, editing. I, and i think that they forgot to take it out i think that's all that it is yeah i think there's a little whoopsie there <laughs> where they they kept this little Oops part in the in the frame that was supposed to only be there for a second because so. they took out like uh like the ducks that were playing in the water they added a lot of trees and i don't think that they everybody's saying that they oh they they digitally added trees or they took i think that i think that they just reshot it in mm. a different season and the ducks aren't there because they weren't there when they reshot it i think that's all that it is yep that's really isn't really, it weird it's strange no pun intended no. um uh, because you know i mean with these shows you know even like um you think back to mandalorian there was like you know this small controversy i think it was i think the third episode of the second season where mm -hmm. there was a cameraman in one of the shots yes behind yeah. them so people you know they see that shit and they're like Psh. you know same thing game oh, yeah. of, game of thrones you see dunkin donuts cups around yep. around you know so you oh, know I remember that, yeah. you know shows like that they will go back and re-edit stuff to clean up now see i don't know i didn't watch the scene myself i only you know heard about this you know today um now was this a, a, like announced to the people that like no someone, i think people just picked up someone on it. No, people found were, it out. yeah people were saying that it's probably been there for like the last few weeks but it's only been recently that that there's that it's caught it's like wait a second yeah so there wasn't there wasn't an announcement there were no hints at it i think it was simply things got really jacked up with covid yeah yeah and they you we they did have to uh get rid of an episode of wandavision because of time constraints with post-production so i think that it makes a lot more sense that like these were things that had covid not happen they would have had time to have like worked all of this yeah. stuff out to make sure that the scenes matched and the environments matched for the mm. movie and the show yeah um but it is they did um go out of their way to change the credits uh, mm. at the end of that episode yes. yeah to include um the composer correct the composer of, of the doctor strange's theme and they specifically called out doctor strange's theme which is like and that's like probably credited that's that. probably what caught the eye of people the most and they were probably like well wait a second like what else has changed and that's probably where they found yeah this, i but. mean yeah because originally that was always doctor strange's theme i think we all caught that onto that when we all watched the final episode right. together yeah, um, that that was in there the original, but the but the credit for it just now yeah, popped but the up credit <laughs> yeah. So I'm wondering if people like you know they want people to figure it out for themselves first without them like you know whatever, or maybe whatever. again they were rushed and they were yeah, like oh, just... shit we forgot to add Michael Bolton's name in here. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, so that's why you know, all in or all, Captain Jack Sparrow, yeah, Michael right. Bolton. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I think regardless, it's a, it's a lot of cleanup. That's why I feel like this is yeah. cleanup, touching stuff up, and and I think it probably um, wouldn't have been cleaned up if it wasn't going to be like if they weren't going to come back right. to this area again. I think again. for absolute sure you're going to see this in Doctor Strange. They yep. they wouldn't have made sense for them to have wasted their time on edit like re-editing this. Unless they were worried about fans being like, wait a second, that's supposed to be at the same time, but it doesn't look the same. What is this? The multiverse? It, yeah. So I think that they were cleaning it up to make sure that everything matched. I think 100% you're going to see this again. Yep. Well, we'll move on to our third Marvel topic. This one's uh, this one's fun. Uh, it's not we're not going super in depth and theorizing or anything. This is just cool. No theories here. No, no theories Happy, here. It's official. Pride Month, y'all. Happy Pride Month. MCU Loki is officially bisexual. I um, I I would I would say he's pansexual. Pansexual. Like I would. Yeah. Is it what they didn't say? I'm bi. He just said that he's interested in prince and princesses. But I yes. think. Like just understanding Loki's character, I think he's pan. I gotcha. Well, either way, it's been confirmed, uh, which and it's been this this uh, you know type of Loki and what what he uh, is interested in has been confirmed in the comics for a long time. And it's actually based on the picture. Norse god. Yep, Loki. Um, yeah, yeah, that which is kind of cool. Uh, but this is this is the first openly. Uh, by character or pan character uh, inside of the MCU, uh, which is cool. So and it and it just it Super happened cool. happened during Pride Month, which is even cooler. Uh, I don't know if it was like if they kind of planned that to say like, hey, this is going to be showing. It just like worked out, but it worked out. Um, it's cool. And so that, it's it's pretty cool uh, that they that they were able to do that. But with that said, who do we think Loki's love interests have been? Uh, you know, he mentions. I think Heimdall. Heimdall? You think Heimdall may have been? Yeah, uh, I think, uh, I think, uh, yeah, it gets lonely up there. Man yeah. in the Rainbow Bridge. Uh, Rainbow Bridge! <laughs> oh, it just makes sense! There it oh, is. Well. Theories after all, guys. Crackpot they, theories. Feige was win. always trying to tell us about Heimdall mm -hmm. with Star the rainbow. Lord for sure. <laughs> yep. Star -Lord, Star Lord for sure is what Brooks said. Absolutely. Yeah. I can see Star Lord yep. in him. Uh huh. Yep. You betcha. <laughs> Um, the other interesting comment in this conversation is actually from uh, Sylvie, who is Lady Loki or Enchantress, a mix of both. Um, she mentions that she has uh, she is in a relationship with a postman, oh. and like very clear, like almost super emphasizes postman. Um, who do we think this hey, can be? I know exactly who it think, is. Hey, I have a question. Yeah. Could it be somebody versus like a postman, like a mailman? Could it be somebody that mans a post? As oh. in like Heimdall? See, oh, yeah. oh my gosh! <laughs> Look at that! It's no, all coming it's, together. It's, I know who it is. It's, is it Stan Lee? It, it's Stan Lee from Iron Man. Yeah. God Almighty. <laughs> two or three. It's two, two or three. Two or, yeah. No, Civil it, War. Was Civil War package showed up? for... Yeah, because 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 the war machine had his uh, braces on. Yeah, so Tony but, yeah. Uh, Tony Stack and fun fact, who's also a mailman in uh, the first Fantastic Four movie. Oh, that's, that's so crazy. there you go. Yes, and Stanley was actually uh, a delivery person in a second movie. It wasn't like a like a postman, but he was. A and he mentions it when you see him with the him. Watchers and Guardians. Yes. He's like, I, and then I was a postman, or whatever. And like, so he's. I think it's. I, I think that was like a nod to Stan. Maybe that would be like, I don't know if they're gonna like they're, revisit that, cool. but I think that'll nod to Stan. They're trying. You know, they've they've been they've stated that they're trying to find creative ways to continue Stanley's like cameos. You know, in these projects, and so it'd be pretty cool if that was the biggest one though that I've seen on the internet theory about this was that the love interest must be the the post guy from wanda wanda vision yeah. everybody's like it has to be him i'm like oh, could <laughs> be. No, but that would be cool that was the first person like when she said that i went wanda vision post the, the male guy in wanda vision but more yeah it doesn't make any don't sense. shoot the messenger the, the i other... want i want to guess though this is my prediction okay i think that loki and lady loki are gonna fall in love because who I think so too. is the only person that Loki could truly himself. ever love himself. but himself. Yep. 
I a hundred percent agree. And they've already yeah. kind of started to set the scene a little bit. So yeah. Well, they oh, I mean, I love them on screen together really too. Like they're the... they're back and forth. You in don't this want last to stop episode. and think about it for too long. No, yeah, but so it just gets weird. But it works yeah. because it's so Loki like it. somehow, uh, which is strange. They could so, make baby Lokis. That's right. Oh my god, that'd be so strange. <laughs> that is just so oh weird. my gosh. So we'll see. There's only three episodes left of Loki, y'all. Like we're already work? halfway it through. It would only be one. But wait, there's only three left of this this season, but there's a second season, yes. right? Yep. Correct. Good okay. catch. Okay. Yep, yep. All right, so moving out of the MCU world, we're moving into the Witcher world. Mm, this is a reminder a to, your to toss a coin to your Witcher. <laughs> Witcher Con is next weekend. I originally put this in because I thought it was this weekend, but I left it in there because it's going to be huge. I cannot wait to see what they announce or what they show at Witcher Con. Um, again, a reminder, this is being hosted by both Netflix and CD po Projekt Red. Um, they have not said anything about like there being a new game release with, with the main series, uh, but they have said that they're going to be uh, showcasing some scenes and some clips of the new season of The Witcher, which comes out <laughs> uh, later this year. Oh my God, let's go. Yeah, I I'm love, excited about that, y'all. I love that show so much. Um, but the coolest thing, this is the main reason why I wanted to bring this up. Uh, if anybody is interested, I know a lot of you play Wizards Unite here in the chat. I know a lot of you have played Pogo. If anybody's interested in the Witcher AR game, the geo-based game called Monster Slayer, the official Twitter account for uh, Monster Slayer tweeted out, join us during WitcherCon. We'll show you how to live the life of a Witcher. Y'all, this game, this game's totally dropping. Mike is so stoked about this. This game is totally releasing at this convention. Mm -hmm. So uh just just to pull the pull the hosts here, uh, what percentage chance do you think that this game is actually releasing at the convention? Or do you think they'll just drop like a trailer for it? I think we're Niantic in charge. No. Okay. So good. Real good chance. Real good chance. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Question. This is probably hold on what what's the com it's by the the cd project red is the uh the company that's doing the i think they're right consultants now. uh cd project red is the original witcher series game developers so i think they're consultants on the the ar game i'm not sure which companies are making the game itself so the so game. there's this in my app store whew, it it's it shows me monster slayer go but it yeah. seems like mm -hmm. it could be a fake, but it does say that it's in development. Yeah, Steph, is I think Steph strange. found that same one and yeah. was like, I got it. And uh, yeah, it's it's not the same. It's not it's the same game. Nuts. Steph has played it. He's played the- Yeah, he's in the beta. The beta it, yeah. And he was saying in chat that he feels like real players will will appreciate the game. Oh. So nice. what player, that's good. Real players? Okay. Rural players, yeah. Oh, so rural players. Is this gonna be a day one download for y'all? Like when it when it drops? Uh I'm I'm probably gonna I'm gonna check it out. You know, I I'm interested to see. Mario, Mario's gonna give it the old college try. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you know, like, like we just meant we just list off a bunch of games that we also already play, you know. Yeah. So I mean, I, I'm I'm interested to see how it plays and how it looks, and I'll probably I'll probably be into it for a bit, you know, because so much happening, you know, like yeah. you, know, you know, Transformers is on the horizon, you know. Mm -hmm. We we start talking to our, you know, shout to uh, Pokey Fodder, you know, with some of the information about it releasing in other parts of the world, and um. So yeah, I think it's going to be fun. Uh, but bringing back the question is if it's going to be released during the convention. Um, I think it's a, a ninety percent chance. If not, yes. we'll uh, we'll definitely get a like maybe a midsummer release date or something. Um, yeah. But I think we're definitely going to see some action for sure at WitcherCon. Yep. Yeah. yeah, I think it's going to be interesting. I'm, I'm definitely going. You can watch it. Uh, it's July 9th, starting July 9th. You can watch it on Twitch, YouTube, all that good stuff. They're streaming it. Um, I am. I'm jazzed for it. I can't wait, cannot wait to see not only for that AR game, but just to see stuff for season two of The Witcher, uh, the Netflix show. Um, <clears throat> so moving on, we've got a new movie, a new summer blockbuster called Tomorrow War. Oh, that's starring Chris, Chris Pratt. Pratt. Chris Pratt is starring in this. 
It is on here. Amazon Prime exclusive movie. However, it was originally slated to release in theaters before the pandemic, um, and Amazon ended up procuring it. They were like, nope. They procured it for like $200 million or something crazy like that uh, to make it an Amazon exclusive uh, movie, which is kind of crazy. Uh, real quick, if, if you haven't seen the, the the trailer for this yet, I would 100% go check it out, especially if you like sci-fi movies. But here's the plot. Time travelers arrive from the year 2051 to deliver an urgent message. 30 years in the future, mankind is losing a war against an alien species. The only hope for survival is for soldiers and civilians to be transported to the future to join the fight. So oh. it's time travel, alien invasion, Chris Pratt. That's like all I'm my in. favorite stuff. I'm Let's in. go. I'm excited about this. Um, this isn't starring very many people outside of Chris Pratt that you may know. Uh, the biggest name is J.K. Simmons, who we all know as, uh, oh crap, oh my gosh. I heard I said J.K. Simmons and I forgot his character in Spider-Man. J. The, Jonah Jameson. J. Yeah. Jonah Jameson. Parker. Thank you. There's a J in there. It screwed me up. J. Jonah Jameson. We all know J.K. Simmons. And then um, I am going to struggle on saying her name, but Britt, you probably know who this is. From The Handsmaid's Tale, uh, Yvonne Stravatsky. Oh, and I freaking love her. She's like gorgeous. Now, she's yeah, the she's wife, in The Handsmaid's Tale. She's the wife of like one of the main guys in charge right Fred, yeah fred fred's wife what's her character's name in the show do you know mm -hmm. don't know she's in handsmaid's tale she's been in chuck and dexter she's more of a tv actress but she's great in in Hand, handsmaid's tale um but based off of this information based off the combination of sci-fi alien war time travel chris pratt do we think this is going to be a good movie do we think serena Sorry. Serena is her name. There you go. There you go. How do we feel about this movie? I think it's going to be I'm fun. I think it's going to be fun. Like I think it's going to be in uh, somewhat in the same category as you know uh, the Batista flick that came out. Uh, it's called Dead. I can't think of the name. The, the oh, just recently. Yeah, the, uh, the heist movie. Oh, yeah, the heist zombie movie that we just watched, y'all. What the heck is the movie called? The, whatever. Uh, oh. It was a war. That, Z war, war oh Z, my war gosh of, whatever it's a war that Z zombie Z batista movie army of the dead there it is thank you army thank of you the steph dead. jeez whiz my brain um but i think it's gonna be the yep. same vein as that you know it's definitely when it's a straight to video kind of thing um i think it's gonna be interesting seeing chris pratt back in the action uh you know outside the marvel marvel universe we haven't seen him mm -hmm. outside of it since you know jurassic park and you know he's great in those movies so i think it's gonna be interesting I'm, I'm interested to see how it goes i don't know if it's gonna be a five-star film but i think it's gonna be interesting great it's, cast i think it's a, the cast is great i think it's um yeah. i'm curious to see how, how it goes I'm I'm curious. I mean, like Amazon dropped two hundred million dollars to make this a, a prime exclusive, which is kind of nuts. But um, so they they must have had a lot of faith in it. Um, but uh, follow up real quick before we go to the next topic. What is your favorite alien invasion movie, and why is it Independence Day? Independence Day, <laughs> Independence Day Bob. Will Smith, yeah, baby, we got Big Willie style. Fourth of July coming up, Independence Day. That's Men in it. Black. Any Will Smith alien invasion movie is the correct answer. I know Will Smith is the reason that we celebrate Fourth of July, everyone. <laughs> and you know I'm that. Trying, I'm trying to think of other one. Like I, I do like. I don't know if y'all have ever seen uh, District Nine. That's a pretty cool yes. movie. That um, is really good. I like District Nine. I love uh, all the like alien invasion movies. Yeah. Mars Attacks was mentioned in the chat by Brooke. That's a that's a fun, that's a funny Mars one. Attacks. I like Mars Attacks. <laughs> um, yeah, any of the Alien versus Predator stuff, that, that kind of vibe. Those are those are movies are fine too. You know, you know, Prometheus was kind of trash, um, but yeah. So any, yeah, anything like that. Will, Will Smith film is Chris Pratt becoming? Oh, Cloverfield's good. Is Chris Pratt becoming oh. the new Will Smith? <laughs> Uh, I don't. It's crazy. I don't think so. Like, look, when I see when I see Will Smith in a movie, I'm like, Will, I'm seeing it. Will I don't Smith even know. I don't even. It doesn't anywhere. even matter. I still love Will. It Smith. It doesn't even matter what the movie is. If I see Will Smith is in it, I'm down. I don't and, know. and Chris Pratt is in Aside stuff. I'm like, down. Pursuit of Happiness was a depressing AF movie. Oh God, oh, it was yeah. such a great movie. Oh, I God, hated that so movie. 
Oh, that I made me it. so sad. I, I'll, I'll come back at that comment with I, th I, I feel like I feel like Dwayne the Rock Johnson's kind of like the new uh, Will Smith, nope. you know, where it's like mm. that kind of like you know, I could see it. you know, breakout celebrity didn't really start out, you know, Will was like you know with you know Fresh Prince, then it kind of moved on to the big blockbuster films and whatnot, and you have yeah. The Rock who you know start off in the WWE, and now he's like the one of the biggest movie stars of all time, and then you got guys yeah. like guys, Kevin Hart, even cool. Kevin Hart is in that category as well. You can never yeah, but he started replace Will Smith. No, ever. Yeah, I think Expecto no. Go uh, I is in the same boat. Him. <laughs> you can't. You, you'll never replace him. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Expecto Go. James loves his Will Smith, for sure. Oh yes. Oh, I love Will Smith. I'm not saying he's replaced. I'm just saying like generations, this, generations. Yeah. Will Smith. This generation can also have him. I'm fine he with that. Wonderful. I'm no still one is wonderful. taking Will Smith. If, off the block. I mean, if, let's be real. Penny's into him, right? Like with oh, Men yes. in Black and all that. So oh, yes. if Penny can be, then I still haven't. I still haven't seen uh, Gemini Man. I want to see that. Oh yes, that looked good. James, if, if, if you, James in the chat, if you've seen that movie, let me know. Give give me a give me a rating so I know how good it is. If, if James says <laughs> yes. good, I'm gonna go see it. <laughs> Done. All but. right. So last bit of news here. We're bringing back the Transformers because we can't. Now it's becoming the new MCU for us. Every episode we have some sort of touch on with the Transformers franchise. Um, we've got a new uh, voice actor coming in for the Rise of the Beast movie, Transformers Rise of the Beast. We got Ron Perlman, who is coming in to voice Optimus Primal. I am jazzed for this. So those, uh, Ron Perlman is most notably like Hellboy He's been in so many things, but I, and anytime I see him, I'm, I'm picturing Hellboy. Um, and uh, he's coming in to voice Optimus Primal, which is a Beast Wars uh, variation, essentially, of Optimus Prime. Um, and so I'm jazzed for this. So we're going to have Optimus Prime and Optimus Primal, Primal. in the same movie, <sighs> teaming up with some robot battles. Mario, what do you feel about this, man? Definitely gonna need some closed character? captions for that movie. <laughs> close <laughs> what do you mean? You're gonna hear from, uh, he's never mushy. Those voice. of us with processing issues are gonna be like, which one is it, Prime or Primal? Like, oh, those. That's such an easy. Oh, I thought you meant by the way, problem talks. Uh, I think I think it's a five star casting. I think this is perfect. Uh, I can definitely see. I can, I can already hear his voice through that character. Um, I think I think it's gonna be interesting. So that shows me that you know this is gonna be. This is going to be a very fun movie, I think. You know, is yep. bringing in is it, we talked about last week how the original voice actors doing Optimus Prime. So I was wondering, you know, who else are we going to, you know, have in these, you know, in these bots. Um, so I'm happy to see a big name like Ron, Ron Perlman here. I think it's going to be a really, really good, uh, good film. And like James says in the chat, still have my Beast Wars toys. Man, I still wish I oh, had man, mine, I bro. Oh Wars, man, dude. those were the best toys. I but, love Beast Wars. Uh, but. Um, but for the like, I started to think like it's cool that they're ha they're in the same movie. Uh, what other like returning characters will we have? And like then I realized for people that may not know yet, this movie is actually going to be set in 1994. I love that. I in, love that we're going to the 90s. in Brooklyn. That's so 90s like they're going to be in our element. Yeah. <laughs> and so like don't we're not expecting any like return uh, characters that you know the human characters like Shia LaBeouf or Mark Wahlberg. I don't think they're going to be making a return to this. Because this is considered part of the Bumblebee like reboot, right, Mario? This is that's uh, what I'm thinking. Because I was gonna, the, I was gonna like, bring that universe. up because obviously I've been, you know, I went through my phase of my Transformers movies, and <laughs> you know, I went, I was like watching a lot, listening to a lot of reviews on like each of the films just to kind of go along. Well, I love watching, you know, listening to review podcasts, and uh, one of them discussed. I guess there was an original plan in bumblebee where at the end credits they were going to show megatron frozen but he was still he but he was in his g uh g1 form so you know i really want to see that because i think i showed you guys the last podcast or the one before like all the g1 inspired looks in that movie from the first you know cybertron battle yeah so you know i think they took that out because they really want to focus it on you know the bumblebee story and i think they did try to take it away from the shot the the michael bay films because that's how we find megatron in the first bay movie he's mm -hmm. frozen in the facility with um uh, i forgot the name of the the team um 
Sector 7. Um, so I think, so I, I definitely think, I said it last week, I think they're starting to branch off and do a new thing, a new generation of Transformers movies, which I think they're doing it right, you know, if they... You know, if they do it the way they did, I'll be like, if you guys, people making this movie, if you guys are listening to me, not, <laughs> I doubt it. But man, you guys, you guys did a great yeah, job, with Bumblebee. Hope, keep on going keep with that, this. Like, yeah, keep up that formula. I, I love Transformers. I that, that was like my that's my jam as a kid. Like every, I had all the toys, all this, you know, messing around with those all the time. And like, I love the TV show when I was a kid. And it's like. It's that's a great property. It's a great, you know, fandom, and like we just didn't get what we deserved with these Michael Bay films. Like Michael Bay, yeah. stop making movies. You know, oh, you know who God. else loved Transformers? Who is that? That would be this lovely lady next to me. She was obsessed with Transformers so much so that we're debuting. I guess this is debuting the segment called "Who That Is." Oh, with who that Brit, is? Where she has to guess the names of certain <laughs> fandom characters and this week we have selected transformers for brit to try to to name now, off the in characters. case i do well at this i just watched the mo the movie with penny the other night yep in case i do well i just want y'all to know i did not study for this yes and just incredible everything i just said was complete sarcasm she probably has no idea who any watched, of these characters are. I watched are. all of the Transformer movies you did. with you. I didn't not like them. I didn't like the over-sexualization mm. in the Michael Bay films, but I watched yeah. all of them with you and I enjoyed them. I just don't... Growing like, up, though, they weren't I'm like, not, like, obsessed with them like yeah. you and you and Mario. Did you she, guys watch Bumblebee? We haven't no, yet. we're going to watch that with Penny oh, this weekend. You got to watch. I'm excited for yeah. that, that review. Um, but I gave you... So I gave you five... Five... Transformers, Brit. They're okay. I think I think they're pretty easy. I think I mixed in a lot. I, I you know I try to pick images where you can identify them, especially this first one. I think you're gonna get it right away. Okay. All right. I'm I'm ready. I'm so, feeling good about this one. Better pretty, than Star Wars. Feeling pretty confident about I th this. I think you're gonna get so and like and as you know, if if you can't guess what the name of it is, just give them a, whatever name that comes off the top of your head. Make up a name, yes. I'll, I got this, guys. I, uh, I got it. Now, this one should be easy because we okay. saw this guy a lot. We hung out with him for Start a long episode. time up in Florida. Who long time, huh? Is that We're on a little delay here, guys, so... Yeah. Just so and let's see. describe him first. He's uh, red and blue. He's on top of the that Transformers the ride. Optimus Prime. There he is. Yes. Optimus Prime. You got a point, baby. Woo! We get a, we get a ding. Beautiful. Ding. Uh, yeah, so that's obviously on the Transformers, the ride. Captain America. My favorite ride <laughs> on yeah, uh, That ride is Universal. underrated. Oh, like, I, I wrote it again uh, when we went this last time. It's great. It's, it's better than Spider-Man. Oh, <gasps> it's better than Spider-Man. That is. Oh, I don't think yes. so. I think that they're both they're both right there for me. By the Transformers, it's pretty much the same ride, but dude, the Transformers ride is it's longer. It's longer, longer. The effects are better. I I still love the Spider Man ride, but they're both great. Like when it comes I, to, I like Spider Man better because it's smoother. Mm. Well, no, I like it. I, I like being tossed around. You like it rough. I you like it rough, Mario. <laughs> is that what you were gonna go? I, I wasn't gonna go there, but you were gonna go we there. there. I heard it. I heard it there. But... <laughs> All she right. went there. On to the next Autobot, I believe, or Decepticon. Who is this Transformer? Ooh. Oh. Oh. I don't know his name. <laughs> a Wally. Wally? <laughs> <laughs> Wally. How looks like Wally. <laughs> Crossover with Wally. Is this a trick one? Uh, is this live no. action Wally? Live action Wally. <laughs> I think it's, I? it's Wally's goofy cousin. Can I try to guess? Yes, you guess. I don't even know his name. Is his name Wheelie? Yes. Yes. Close oh. there, Brett. Oh, you were close. So close. You were close. Almost. Uh, yeah, so he was in. Yeah, he's in Transformers 2. He shows yeah. in, 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 the, in the Mark Wahlberg ones, too, which is weird. I think. I forgot. Oh, that's funny. But yeah, that's, that's good old Wheelie. It's All right. Him. Number three. We're going into the animated series here, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, oh my! Who, oh my! Who, oh snap! This is one of my favorite Autobots of all time. Oh, that is Reginald. <laughs> Reginald. Reginald the robot. Well, he has to have a last name with Reginald. So Reginald. Reginald, Reginald Smith. Oh. 
Reginald, Reginald Queen. Reginald oh. Queen. Everybody knows old old Reg. They call Reggie. Him. Reggie. 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 As the kids say, Reg, Reg the the bot. <laughs> no. Well, I I like I like your I like your thoughts. Reggie Reg. I like where your head's at, but unfortunately, it's wrong. Frank the Tank. <laughs> but let's see let's see if Mike can get this. What's uh, Oh my gosh. Um is this the animated version of Ratchet? Nope. Nope. Mm. I saw ambulance is in this, the chat, so I was thinking it was I have a question. Is this is this guy also in the live action version or is he only in the animated? He, he was only it, unfortunately, only in one of the Michael Bay movies. Oh, was it jazz? jazz? That's jazz. Because <laughs> uh, jazz, jazz so, gets pulled apart. Yeah. Yeah. Because jazz, Mario, jazz I don't had even the, recognize he had the jazz from Michael Bay. Yeah, he had yeah. a little <laughs> visor with the sunglasses. That's, that's yeah. jazz. The only reason that I knew that was because Mario said something. That he just said, like, oh, this is my favorite Autobot. And I was uh, like, the uh, only one that I know of that you like is jazz. Because he made a big deal about it when we just watched the movies. Yeah. <laughs> so, I, yeah. Hey. Oh, like, every time he shows up on screen in the first movie, I pop. I'm like, oh, there's jazz. <laughs> <laughs> but he oh, like he's it. about to die! Yeah, unfortunately, yep. he made it to towards almost he made it to like last twenty minutes of the movie. All right, now we're going on to the next one. This one is a, it's a little bit of a fuzzy picture, but it's the best one I can get for this angle. Who's that? Um, Pokemon. Pokemon. <laughs> Who's that Pokemon? Oh, that's an ugly fella. Oh, I feel like he's bad. Yeah. Right. That's a good he's vibe. A bad, he's a bad oh. fella. He looks like he has the Mind Stone in him the mind stone it's so, vision and i'm gonna it's go a with like um ult ultron 9000 ultron 9000 <laughs> this is is this not stone. the guy that brit said last week was her favorite that's not star scream right no no okay not okay star i feel like he's maybe that main bad guy though what's his name Oh, come on, Brett, you got this. Nikes. His He's a name... big guy, so his his name must have Juicy. Ju Juicy okay. Tron. Yeah, Juicy Tron. Oh, Tron. Tron. Big, big, big Tron. Tron is in there. Ju Tron. Juicy Tron. Blank Tron. Mm -hmm. It's like Me. Ultra Tron. It's like. Uh, hold on, big hold on. Get, 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 give her a minute to think. Megabot. Oh, oh my gosh. No, Tron. You Tron in there. The first part and the last part. Megatron. Megatron. Yeah. Was he in that movie that I just watched? Yeah, he was the bad guy. That's that well, yeah, that's why he was so familiar to me. Mega yeah. Star Street. Yeah. Oh, this is really bad with names. All right, last me one. Too, girl. This one should be easy peasy lemon squeezy. Who is this little feller? Who's this Pokemon? Oh, it's my favorite. That's Bumblebee. Oh, it's B. And there it is. It's my bad. baby got, B. You got two out of the five. That was good, babe. Not bad. Yeah, that was not well, bad at all. I, I would say I also she got like two got and a half. Reginald. I think that <laughs> I think you Reginald's guys my favorite. Don't know that you don't know us, OG Reginald. Most of us real fans call him Reginald. Reginald. Yeah, Jazz. Jazz is really Reginald. Yeah, yeah. that's so, his his actual name. You know, Jazz is his nickname. Mario, your favorite Autobot is is Reginald. It's Reggie, 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 yeah. Reggie Robot. I'm down with Reggie. Old Reg, Reg the Veg. <sighs> Bring back. I can't believe you didn't put Star Scream in there so that we could see that if one it I actually knew. Oh, you were I, 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 I looked at him. I was like, I feel like Megatron's more recognizable. Is because I was trying to think. I was, Apparently I was, not. <laughs> I was just trying to think of like the ride too, like the ones that she would yeah. have seen on, on the ride. Like yeah. definitely Bulby, definitely Optimus. Uh, My biggest problem with the movies too, especially for the Decepticons, is they all looked so similar. Yeah, those fight scenes, like you, you can't even tell who's tell. hitting who. Yeah, and so like Starscream, there's I, I was paying attention to the last time we watched it because I'm like a huge Starscream fan as well. Um, you barely, I mean, he's barely in the movie, um, but him and Auto or Megatron all have that plane form, and so like I don't know, but they, they look and, too and he similar. looks like he looks like a giant Dorito in out in those movies. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like he's walking around, and like, ah. <laughs> just like he looks yep. so miserable, poor guy. But, oh man! But I thought, but yeah, you, you passed for flying colors, Brett. You're definitely you're yeah. you're a Transformers fan now. You got it, babe. You got it. Old, you're ready old, for the Transformers old game. Old Reg, you know. Old Reg. 
Um, and of course, we've got our draft coming up, but right before we get into the draft, we do want to do another time turner. We did a time turner oh, in the get last back to turn back time. In the last episode, we debuted this. Uh, it's where we kind of look back on nerd history and reminisce. And this popped up in my feed yesterday, and it blew my mind. It absolutely blew my mind. Pirates of the Caribbean is 18 years old. Wow. It's legal, ladies it's and the gentlemen. legal adult. It released 18 years ago. And so, like, just think back. Where were you 18 years ago? Like, I had to, like, this is like half, almost, it's more than half our life ago. Were we, like, I was 12. I was in high and junior high. So that would have been in Catholic I should have school. Thought about how this. old are, are we would have been in high school? Five ish right now, or are we 36? We're 35. We're 35. Carrie's so a 18. one. <laughs> so you were 17, right? Yeah. So we were in high school. We were juniors. In okay. High school. Yeah. Damn. Yep. We were 12. So how crazy yeah, we were is 12. that? Like, I feel like Pirates has, was such a huge thing. We would never have hung out in real life, like in high school and middle school. You know that? Like, <laughs> if we I were not. Out with Mike we didn't school. hang out in high if school. We, but if we, like, you know, if we didn't meet later in life, we never would have hung out because we were five years apart. Like, that's like. Yep. I know. Isn't that weird that age? How, like, <laughs> when you're at that age, that yeah. gap is so huge. But then by the time you get to this age, it's like not any big deal. It's crazy. It's crazy. Wild. So is Pirates of the Caribbean the best like on-screen adaptation of a pirate's life? Yes. It's definitely like, one of the more yeah. fun ones. I, 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 it's, this is actually perfect that this came up because, you know, me and Lee have been having a blast playing the Jack Sparrow storyline in Sea of Thieves. In mm -hmm. Sea of Thieves, yeah. And so, uh, you know, playing through that, like, you, like, I'm not going to spoil it, but, like, you kind of run around with you Jack a little characters. bit and you see, you know, the Pearl and stuff like that. And you go through these, like, original adventures that are kind of loosely based on all the movies. And that got me all, put, like, you know, jacked up to go start watching the movies again. We think we watched uh, Dead Men, Dead Men Tell No Tales, which was the latest one. Like we watched mm -hmm. a little bit of that the other night, and yeah, there, yeah, there's so much fun. But I remember seeing that first one. It was like you know, I was a kid, so I was kind of like it was a little, little spooky scene. You know, like I'll never forget that. You know, that that, that scene of Barboza coming out. You know, you best start believing in ghost stories, Miss Turner. You're in yeah. one. You know, and I definitely remember. Yeah, going being to see terrified. I was uh, so scared. And, Curse but those, of the Black Pearl, I saw that in theaters. Yeah. I, like, I, with my family. Love those That movies. was real cool. That was like, and going to the theater as a kid was like a real big treat with my dad and my stepmom. And, uh, well, I mean, with my mom, too. But I'm pretty sure I went to the other one with my dad and my stepmom. And um, I remember, like, leaving that theater and being like, that was such a yeah. great movie. Oh, so <laughs> we just showed it to Penny last night. And she yep. loved it. She's loved like, can it. we watch all the rest of them now? Yep. Yep. So, yeah, so we're pretty stoked. So we're stoked about uh, that. Uh, so okay. speaking yeah, of, uh, of Jack Sparrow, when we have sound alerts turned back on our Twitch stream, you'll have to uh, take a little cheeky peeky at the sound alerts because you will find a little uh, Jack not Sparrow. It, it's not Jack Sparrow. It's a uh, Lonely Island. Yes. Like oh. Singing. <laughs> Why is it's the Lonely Sparrow. Island Jack Sparrow song and with Michael, Michael Bolton. Bolton. Oh um, god. And and it's not just a clip of it. It's like two. It's, the whole it's song. like almost two minutes. Oh, it's man. amazing. Here come the Why copyright is the strikes. Always gone? Yep. 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 Uh, oh, um. Man. So what's really cool about this uh, that this has come up is one because we just watched it with Penny. Like we're already planning on watching it, and then this news came out. I was like, whoa, it's 18 years old, but there are other movies that are coming out now that are that are going to be based off of disney park rides right mm -hmm. because the movie didn't come first the ride right came the first. ride came first they yep. made the pirates movie so we've got jungle and then they Cruise. adapted the ride to the pirates movie. yeah they've mm -hmm. updated that was real now. cool like... yeah, i thought that was cool that they did that but we have jungle cruise coming out next month uh, that's actually oh, uh, exactly a month away that stars none other than The Rock. We were just talking yeah, about Dwayne talking Johnson. About hey. can, 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 I, can I be like truthful about this? I remember yeah. when I first saw the trailer for this. Was that, I forgot what movie. I think it might have been a Marvel movie. It might have been. I don't know what it was. But I remember seeing this trailer and thinking I thought it was like a parody. I yeah. was like, there's no way this is like they're making a Jungle Cruise movie with like Dwayne The Rock Johnson. of like this. It blew my mind. 
well, I thought it was like hilarious. Jumanji, the Jumanji remake. Yeah, it's I definitely thought the same thing. Towards families, right? Yeah, like, would, this I would think kid, it's more like a family movie. Uh, movie. But uh, so we've got Jungle Cruise coming out this year, and they just announced this week that they're making a Tower of Terror movie that's Ooh. that's starring Scarlett Johansson, and she's also directing it or producing it. Um, and so, like, they're taking all of these cool rides and building concepts. I'm really to, excited for Tower of Terror. Holy moly! Right? That's yeah, that's gonna so, be such a cool ride. I didn't uh, movie. It was Tower of Terror. I guess I was thinking it was Haunted Mansion. No, it's Tower of Terror. They're, no, Tower they're of taking... Terror is gonna be way cooler. Yeah. Okay. Well, yeah, I mean, Tower so, of Terror is kind of connected to Haunted Mansion. Uh, we've already done. Yeah, Tower. Yeah, with Eddie Murphy. <laughs> Oh, that's right. Yeah, I yeah. About that. I was like, it's Tower of Terror. That's kind of uh, associated with like Twilight Zone and stuff, right? So yes. I'm, I'm assuming it's gonna be very like kind of psychological and whatnot. But that should, really that should be strange, fun. What's really strange though is they also announced the writer for that movie, and it's the writer for the uh, animated movie Inside Out that's doing it. And so it's like, well, wait, is this <sighs> right? I'm like, is this so gonna is be this a kids movie? movie? I, I know, love, love Inside, Inside Out. Out. Oh my god, Thank and it's you. like such a mind bender. Yeah. I would have really. I, I'm hoping it's more adult. Yeah, I'm, I'm hoping movie. so. But, but I feel yeah. like Inside Out, you could use it as like there was. It was a lot deeper than I was anticipating it being for. A yes. Movie. Oh so, yeah. Was. I totally. I just so, want it to be scary. Like I want, you want it, to, it to be a scary for Tower of Terror. Kids movie. Yeah. I, th I think I think I like I want it to be scary. Well, I think <laughs> Disney always tends to find a way to kind of make it. Cause I haven't. I like, mix it well. I haven't seen. Uh, the Eddie Murphy film uh, Haunted Mansion. I should huge Eddie Murphy yeah. fan. <laughs> um, we should probably put that on for tonight. <laughs> yeah, it's on. Uh, it's on Plus. Um, but yeah, I'm sure that's. I'm sure it's gonna have. It's like you know, it's 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 like you know, scary enough. Like probably you know, PG, maybe you know, thirteen kind of like scary pirates, pirates was pg-13 was PG so, yeah, so. Was scary. Yeah. there are some scary parts in there like I, when, yeah i think it's the second uh, i think it's the second movie or the third movie it's just funny because the, the way the movie starts is like because they show you the cast you know da, 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 you know and all that puppet. and then the second the movie starts is like this uh like this bridge you see and these people like are like in cages and you see a uh <laughs> you see like a crow t rip a guy's eye out of his socket yes like, oh yes and I, yeah, like, I remember that i was like yeah. walt the wonderful world of walt disney i'm like holy shit <laughs> we're not I'm in like, disney anymore like the minute they hit that's why so like so i think they're gonna i think they'll, they'll kill it with i think it's gonna be cool yeah i hope yeah. so i hope it's like that not like a like a funny little kids movie like jungle cruise right movie. i hope it's a little i hope it's a nice blend of spooky yeah. and yeah like i don't want it to be gory because i don't like, like pirates gore. Like yeah. Pirates is I, I want it to be silly and, yeah. yeah. I want it to be funny and spooky. But yeah. So what's interesting though is, is you know we've got this Disney Park theme ride uh you know theme going on with this time turner. And so we were trying to pick this week's draft topic, and we thought it would be perfect to roll in our Disney Park draft. We are picking rides from the Disney theme parks. Y'all know we're park fans. For all four of us. We love the parks. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. Fun, fun fact while we're getting set up here for draft. Nashville is finally getting our first theme park since Opryland shut down. And it's going to be big, y'all. It's a big it's deal. Big, and it's, it's going to be awesome. So you guys will have to all come visit us. And visit Storyville Gardens. In yes, Nashville. it looks huge. It looks huge. And um, yeah, we were yeah. talking beforehand that the the park um, designers have worked on like big big stuff. Lucas yep. Films, uh, Universal Studios. I Marvel. think they worked with Marvel too. Yeah, yep. Yeah. So very excited to see what they do here in Nashville. It's going to be sweet. Um, but yeah, so for those that are are new to the the podcast, each week we go head to head in a fantasy football style draft where we pick off the wall teams relating to this week's topic. And that is Disney park rides. You, the listeners get to decide who assembled the best team by voting on our Twitter page each week. And speaking of voting on the Twitter page, Mario, or should I, should I say Charizard, uh, won last week's Pokemon poll barely, barely edged <gasps> out Lee. I mean, like it was tied. I don't even want to talk about it. It was yeah. tied for like 90% of the week. I want to say, Woo, crispy. I cast Woo, my vote for dangy. Mario, my fellow loser. <laughs> 
sir. You're not a loser anymore. Oh, you won one, Mario. You Girl. won one. Uh, Britt, Britt came in. <laughs> Britt came in with two percent of the votes. Yeah, <laughs> get it. I'm pretty sure that one percent or that two percent, the one vote probably was was somebody who just is a diehard Mr. Mime fan. Or or Jiggly Teeth. Or Jiggly, jiggly Teeth. teeth. Um, or Psyduck. Just, or oh, that's right. I forgot Psyduck was on our team too. Uh, but just a reminder, we're doing these drafts and seasons, and this season ends in two weeks. We have this draft and next week's draft in this season, and we tally up who wins each time. And right now, the current standings, I'm still on top, barely, with five. Lee has four. Mario now has two, and Britt has one. So you're one solidarity. That's all I need. Yep. I don't need Twitter to tell me I'm a winner. <laughs> I know it right in here. You just feel it in your jellies. I feel it in my jellies. <laughs> so let's go ahead and roll Get for initiative. Get your D20s out, guys. Time Oops. to roll for initiative. Oh, you. There you go, Mike. All right, guys. Let's see. I'm hoping that Mario gets an early pick here because. Um, oh he's... my gosh! Would you look at that? We got a 15. I get? got a crit 20. Oh, did you really? Yeah. Yes. Oh man, I got a five. I gotta say, because uh, hopefully I get some uh, good position here because the only park I've been to is, is Hollywood. Hollywood Studios for my birthday. So I'm um, Mario. Uh, what'd you roll? I rolled 13, brother. Oh. All right, so I rolled a 15. You rolled a 13. Britt Mike. rolled a 20. And Mike I had a five. A five. Oh. Okay, so it's going to go Britt, Lee, Mario, and then Mikey. All right, guys. This okay. is going to be intense. Good, so we're, good, good. So we're picking, we're picking Disney World and Disneyland rides. Both are eligible. Most of them have the same rides, but there are some differences. Yeah. Don't you worry, Mario. I'm pretty sure that there's not one thing on my list that is on yours. So <laughs> we should be good. I'm going to start us off right for a classic because of my obsession with the artist who designed the ride. It's a small world. All right, all right. It's a small world. My parents, all. my mom and my dad would probably like, you know, they they hate that ride because I need to ride it <laughs> a I thousand love it. times. I as am a kid. absolutely obsessed with Mary Blair, the artist that designed it. She was a pioneer, one of the first women um, that worked there at Disney. She also did the artwork for Alice in Wonderland, Cinderella. She was awesome. Yeah. Anyways, yep. onward, Lee, with our second pick. All right, so for the second pick, I'm going to go with my personal Disney favorite, which is Pirates of the Caribbean. Oh, man, I was hoping yo, to snag ho, that. Yo, Good ho. pick. That's a literally, at, since I was a kid, Small World and Pirates both were yeah, rides. I love Pirates. Love Pirates. All right, Mario, okay. my brother. Okay. You, you, the two that I know you're going after fell to you. Yeah, I'm just nervous because I I feel like if I whatever one I pick, I'm going to lose the other. You don't know that. A, it's just Mike a behind you. Solid chance. <laughs> I think so. I think no matter what I pick, he's going to steal the other one. But I think just because I feel like this is an older ride, more people know about it, I might get a bigger push. I got to take it. Me and Mike went through this together. I got to <laughs> take the rock and roller Soul coaster. Soul Brothers. <laughs> Oh man, I was hoping to get. Oh man, That's, that what was like, a pick! Uh, I'll let oh, you. I'll let man. you know if my second pick is if it gets picked. Yeah, yeah, yep. Yeah, I'm. Dang it! I was not expecting you to take that. Actually, that I was. was. Uh, <laughs> Mar that was uh, Mario's like first big boy coaster. I know. We like like Mar he said it was so we cute experienced that it you together. Guys did it together. Yeah, because because <laughs> Penny did it, so we had to do it. We yeah. we couldn't Penny let my was ten year old like, Come on, guys, do don't be a wimp. Right, exactly. Um, oh, geez. Okay. Um, all right. I think I'm gonna go new and then old with Whoa. my two with my two picks. Uh -oh. This is gonna one of these is gonna send a pick to Mario that he's probably gonna love, and you're welcome for that. Um, I am. I'm gonna pick the new Rise of the Resistance ride. That was it. That was Star it. Star Wars area. That was it. Uh, there's still another one there that I know you're gonna want. Um, so Rise of the Resistance is incredible. Uh, yes. If you're going Fantastic. to Disney, it's just amazing. Um, then I got to go with the the classic thrill ride from childhood, and that is Big Thunder Mountain. Ooh. Ooh. I love 
Big Thunder My Mountain. My favorite. That's that's you know I, second I'm, favorite. Aerosmith's you know rock and roller coaster was out of my comfort zone. Big Thunder Mountains more so my speed, my jam. Okay. <laughs> All right, Mario, it's back Mario. to you. Man. All right, then yeah, then I gotta take it. The other good Star Wars ride is, of course, the I cried a little bit sitting in that seat. Is yep. flying the Millennium Falcon in Smuggler's Run. Of course, it is. Yep. Smuggler's Run. I thought you were gonna go with that first, actually. It's so. it was between. Uh, he had to take the rock and roller coaster before you did. Yeah. That <laughs> and I mean, I love Smuggler's Run, but man, Rise of the Resistance, man, that is so immersive. It was incredible. Oh, yep. so good. All right. So you've stolen turn? Aerosmith from me in both drafts. Twice. Twice. Just so <laughs> All right. Beautiful. Is it my turn? Yep. yep. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. I just know it. All right. I haven't even ridden this, but I, I really wanted to this last time that we went. Um, and I am hoping I will at the next time that we go. Tower of Terror, please. Oh, okay. Okay. classic. Ooh. I have not ridden that either. I'm too afraid. I too think afraid. going to take my next one. <laughs> okay. Um, another classic. One of my faiths, Space yep. Mountain. Oh, Space Mountain. nice pick. Ooh, Space Mountain. Space Mountain. I've got my, yeah, it's another classic there. I, I Just a fun fact, I finally got out of my comfort zone with that as well. Once I rode the rock and roller I coaster, I was, I was so like, proud. maybe I should do some of these bigger bigger rides. And I finally yeah. did Space Mountain. Heck it was yeah. Great. It was great. Um, and then I'm going to go with another classic. I'm going to just stick with all my classics this time. Mm. I'm gonna go haunted mansion. Oh, Fudge. <laughs> crap! So many good rides at Disney, and we're back to Lee. Shit on a stick, man. <laughs> uh, All right, so this one's had a bit of controversy lately. It's oh. getting shut down and refurbed, but I still think that is a fun ride for the thrills and the classic, you know, the vibe, Splash Mountain. Oh, what's it being closed down for? Oh, because it's like, you know, Black Lives Matter, dude. It's like, oh, I do remember. Pretty racy things in there. That's right. That's right. So that was on my list, Lee. Oh, I used to. I used to love those rides. The big drops into a splash splash of water. Um. I haven't. We rode the uh, the Jurassic Park version of it in, in yeah, Universal. Yeah, I thought Penny was going to come out of the boat. Yeah, I think uh, now that I have children with me, I'm always nervous they're going to like fly out of it because it's yeah. just <laughs> such a steep drop. It is. Um, so I don't enjoy it as much as a parent, but dude, that was uh, as a kid, that was my jam. That was a good. It's a good thing. Oh yeah. All right. Who's whose turn is it? Is it... It's Mario's turn. It's me. Mario's turn. Mario. All right, so yeah, so again, you know, you guys know there's no way I can catch up in this draft, so I'm just kind of going for everything I've ridden in the one park I went to in Disney. So this was a great ride. It was a very long wait, but it was so much fun. If you guys are going, oh, yeah, if you guys are going to Hollywood Studios, go check, go beeline right to the Chinese Theater and check out Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. No, that's a good Mario one. taking it. Solid oh, ride. look at my list! Such babe. a good ride. Top of my list is what's left. Runaway train. Yeah. Will oh. Will have loved Ooh, that ride. That oh, I bet. Loved it. It, so I cool. loved it, even though like we were dying for AC by the end of that line, but it was so worth it. Yeah, so worth. It was it. so good. I was shocked at how great it was. Like I, I was not expecting much, and like the the technology they used in that ride blew my mind. It was it was so good. Really cool. Mike, you got your final two picks. Oh yeah. gosh, this is tough because there's so many other ones that I really like. Um, I'm gonna go with another kind of newer one from Hollywood Studios. I wasn't sure if you're gonna take this one. Uh, oh, Mario. I know it. He didn't go on it. Um, okay. Oh, did yeah, that's right. It was. I think it was towards the end of the day we finally were able to to ride it because oh. uh, I rode it with Penny. Yeah. Um, and it was it was another surprisingly great coaster that I really liked. That was on my list too. The the Slinky Dog Dash in the new Toy Story area. Uh, Yo, it's Studios. such a good coaster. It really was. It's a so great good. like mid sized coaster. Yep, it's so good. Um, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna round off my team. Uh, I've got another one that I wanted to take, but it's similar to Big Thunder Mountain, so I'm gonna let it pass. I'm going to round it off with the Buzz Lightyear Space Ranger Spin. Oh, I love it. 
Uh, this is one. very similar to the Men in Black ride at Universal. It is is by far the coolest ride to ride multiple times and try to beat your score, beat your the score of the people in your cart. Gotta love Toy yeah, Story. You smashed me this last time. Well, I just went two two Toy Story picks. I didn't even mean to do that, but that's okay. Whoops. Toy Story or Buzz Lightyear, Space Ranger spin. All right, right. Mario. Mario, last pick. All right, so I think everything that I've written has been taken for the most part. There is one that has not. Oh. What else have I written? It was one that we both felt sick getting off of. Oh, yeah. I remember you guys Oh, yes, I could take this one. I'll take. Yeah, okay, I'll take it. I'll take Star Tours. Star (laughs) Tours, yep. I, I still remember. haven't done that yet. It made me sick. I was the only one that made me sick. Yeah. It's a rough ride. Like, it's definitely one of the older rides in the park, but the queue going into the ride. It's really notch. cool. Really cool. CC3PO there Disney. and stuff. It's really cool. All right. All right Lee. So that was on my list, actually. But, all right. I am between two. One of them is newer, but I've never ridden it. The other one I've ridden a million and a half times. It's a classic. I think I'm going to go with a classic. Because I have like, you know, my I have a bunch of thrill rides and like kind of one story ride. I'm gonna go with Jungle Cruise for my last Oh, good pick. It's a good, good pick. chill boat ride. You yep. get the puns, the dad puns, you know. I'm you, their jokes like, are always good on that. They're always I usually so good. have I usually have quite a few uh picks like left on my list after we draft. Yeah. I only have a couple in this draft. Like there's only like, everything's been picked. Yep. This is great. This is a good draft. All right. Last pick of the Last draft. Pick. I'm between three. Oof. I'm between Dumbo, Bad Tea Party, but the one that I love to ride the most is the People Mover. The People Mover. That literally, <laughs> that's a good no one. No one wants to ride. It's, it's like I love the, the People best Mover ride. We always we ride it at night. That was the when one the, that... when the fireworks are going off. Oh, and it's oh so my god, like nice. brilliant. The most incredible view yeah. of the castle and the fireworks. That was the one that Micah so was good. talking about, right? When he was trying to yes. explain the I ride. Was like, Shut up, yeah. Micah. Is that what um, you're picking? Uh, um okay. Oh, I already wrote it on my list. Oops. I think I'm actually I'm I'm not going to, even though that's my fave. Oh. Uh-oh. I'm gonna go with Mad Tea Party. Classic. Nice. Yeah classic just pick to there. fit my my theme nice. and that'll do her that that's it that'll do her that wrap a, up that draft that a good one okay that was a good draft i'm gonna give you guys your teams so yeah, team. for me i've got it's a small world space mountain haunted mansion and mad tea party yeah steph dumbo was my other one i love dumbo uh, Lee has got good. Pirates of the Caribbean, mm. Tower of Terror, Splash Mountain, and Jungle Cruise. I got a lot of boats. Yeah, so tonight. yours are all classics too. You got a lot yeah. of boats. <laughs> I got a lot of boats. I'm on a boat. I got a I'm lot on of a boat. <laughs> Where are the sound alerts? If you, you had, know? if you had given me Small World, I would have been all boats. Oh my oh, gosh. Oh man. Oh well. Just freaking love Small World. Uh, Mario has Rock and Roller Coaster because we're real proud of him for riding mm. that. Smugglers Run, Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway, so freaking good, and Star Tours. Um, Mike has got Rise of the Resistance, Big Thunder Mountain, Slinky Dog Dash, and Buzz Lightyear Space Ranger Spin. Uh, those could, you know, you guys could have some sleeper picks in there, man. Yeah. I'm yeah, man, saying. the Aerosmith ride, both times that Mario picked before me, oh, killed me. <laughs> Killed you. Killed me. Shot through the heart. I thought I was going to be able to to roll with a Star Wars ride and get Aerosmith. Because uh, nah. I thought you were going to take one of the Star Wars rides first. Nope. So, ah, yeah, okay. I, I, I yeah, the Seven of... Dwarves, the uh, yep. Seven Dwarves Mine Train stuff, I think is where you're going. That was the other one where I said I have a ride. Like, Big Thunder Mountain and Seven Dwarves yeah. Mine Train are so similar. I didn't want to get both of them. No. I've never been on Seven similar. Dwarves. Oh, Seven they're Dwarfs very is similar. Great, and it like stops midway, and you see like uh, the dwarves down there, and they're oh. mining. Yeah. There's giant gemstones and stuff. It's a great ride. It's you kind of like go one. in and out of like a mountain, though, kind of like Big yeah, Thunder Mountain. True. So, um, Toy Story Mania is di- it? Like I had to think for a minute. I love Toy Story. I was like, Mania. was Toy Story Mania the same thing as Buzz Lightyear's 
shooting game. It's not. Nope. No, because uh, Buzz, Buzz Lightyear, I think, is at Animal Kingdom, no? Uh, maybe. No, Buzz Lightyear's at... Um... Uh, oh no, Magic he's at Kingdom. Magic Kingdom still. And then Toy Story Mania is at Hollywood Studios. Hollywood Studios. Really? I really mm-hmm. thought that Buzz Lightyear was at Animal Kingdom. No, he's in, Tomorrow. he's in Tomorrowland. He's in Tomorrowland in huh. uh in Magic Kingdom. And then the other one I had on my list is the Kilimanjaro Safaris. I love that. <laughs> in one. Animal Kingdom. I love uh, that. There's also oh, yeah. the coaster over in Animal Expedition Kingdom. Expedition Everest was on my list, mm-hmm. as was Test mm-hmm. Track. Both of I those didn't. things I've never ridden, but I would love to. I'm way too scared of Expedition Everest. I saw that and I was like, "That's a big drop." Hell uh-uh. no. Nope. And then, um, well, you go up the, forward and then you go up backward, go down yeah, backwards. I barf everywhere if that happens. So, um, oh, there you go. So and don't then, stand by a mic on that coaster. Yes, <laughs> uh, but they also have the new Avatar ride there too. Um, that probably would be on my list. Yeah, but, but I, haven't, I haven't gotten a haven't chance. That's to ride, that's so. the one I almost picked for my last one until I forgot. You know, Star Tours. It looks yep. so beautiful. It's another. Boat How could ride. you forget Star Tours? We literally had to sit at, on the benches outside of that ride <laughs> and like take Pepto and like. I was dying. Bring some ginger ale. It was real bad. <laughs> hey guys, the results will be up on Twitter probably tonight. I'll get the graphic made. Uh, the and... results won't be, but the poll will be. The poll, the poll will be. Oh, sorry. Yeah, the, the <laughs> picks, the selections will be up on Twitter. The poll will be up for you to vote for. The results Remember, will these be are, up next week. <laughs> these are important. These are important guys, drafts. Two weeks left. Lee and I are neck and neck if to you win. vote for me twice in a row, guys, I could win this. Vote for everybody except for Lee. And I'm still. What happens if 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 they vote for me one week but don't vote for me the next week and then Mike or Britt win? I mean Mike or Britt, uh, Britt or Mario wins last week and then like what happens then? And and we're tied. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I didn't think about. Ties. We need to like not have ties, guys. So like. I we'll think, have to uh, do like a head to head thing. If we, yeah. Mario and I, in that case, we will choose what well, like competition you guys have to have. For a tiebreaker. Wait, I had wait, suggested... it's gonna happen before New York, right? The yeah, yes. it's gonna yeah, end. This is, oh, yeah, this is ending yeah. in a couple weeks. Woo, so the possibilities actually, are endless in person. The next next week's draft is the last draft of the season, and then we'll see who's. So wait, the ninth is not the week of the ninth is okay. Wait, um. Oh okay. wait, no, there maybe. Oh, we're going. There should be one wrong. more. No or no? Wait. Yeah, we're yeah, going to New York look. in August, right? Yeah. Well, the oh no, next week is the last one because the ninth is a Friday. So, next next week's draft on the sixth is the last draft of this season. Guys, help a girl out. Yeah. Help help a girl. Don't out. worry. If there's a tie, Mario and I will definitely come up with something humiliating. No worries there, guys. Yep. No Great. worries. We got y'all. <laughs> we have to run and around New York with to be underwear losers. on our head or something. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> who are the real winners here we're just like that's me and mario absolutely Rob, goggles beautiful yeah. all right mario close us out friend ladies and gentlemen that's been the friggin nerds podcast for this week thank you guys for hanging out with us here in the chat and if you guys are in the replay squad <laughs> as james replay calls squad. it uh over on spotify google podcast youtube where we get your podcast love uh thank you guys for hanging out with us uh as always uh we are here every tuesday recording the podcast if you want to be a part of the live situation come hang out with us on tuesdays tw- uh, twitch.tv slash friggin nerds media um check us out on youtube uh join our discord hang out with us all week with the question of the day and all the fun stuff play pogo with us play orna with us play all these play fun Orna games. with us Gotta, gotta sell the Orna stuff. Um, but guys, it's always, it's always been a blast. Uh, as always, I'm your host, Mario Lima. I'm friggin' Nerd Lee. I'm friggin' Nerd Mike. I'm friggin' Nerd B. And you guys have been friggin' awesome. Friggin awesome. <laughs> guys, stay friggin' nerdy. We'll see you guys next week. Cheers. Cheers.